Oh, guys, oh my goodness, the insignia doesn't start. I woke up in the morning and it doesn't start. Just turns on, press the clutch, I depress the clutch there, but nothing, nothing is going on. It doesn't start. I'm trying to show you on the dash there. Now, I thought it could be the battery, but uh, I tested the battery with uh, with this multimeter. So I, you know, I put it somewhere here, which is on twenty, because these are like twelve volts, and I checked plugging into the battery. And then it showed me that it has a, it has a 12.2 volts. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, that red little car there, that's my wife's car. It doesn't start too. So we are in a very big problem. <sighs> somebody help we're in a very big problem she had to go to work today with a taxi so i have to figure out what's going on you know what's going on why uh, you know it looks like the battery but the battery has you know enough power in it to you know to be able to start it so I may just change the battery because it's old anyway. So see how it goes after that. If it doesn't start, then it could be the starter as well. Or just keep on, you know, fiddling with it, troubleshooting and maybe see what's going on. But I will tell you uh, what, after fixing it, I will tell you what it was. That was the problem because uh, I think it may it may be it may help you if I you know if I find something and then tell you so that tomorrow when yours does the same thing then you know you know what to do you know I've already gone through this hell. So you you yourself will know. So, okay, guys, uh, I will I will update you to tell you what's what was the problem. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Right, uh, changing the battery. You remove that, and then this one. Leave these. Unless the stand does come, doesn't come out, then you can remove this one. But for now, it's just this one and then this one. Right. That one is out and then this one is out, but this wouldn't come out. So this one as well needs to go out. This one as well needs to go out because it's still holding on. So that right you remove you push the battery back this way and then you remove this and then the battery comes out right uh, it's out new one coming in so far so good there you go so these are going in right everything in tight uh, but at the bottom there there is a, a bracket that holds the battery that it goes in there don't forget to put it in you just throw it in there and then you tie it done everything is done tight everything is tight so you close this 
there's a cup that goes here. I will show you how to put it in. Right, that's the the cover. It has slips here and here. So you slide in first of the back and then you put the clips in after. Bingo! Everything done tight. So now we're going to try to start it and see what will happen. Right, this is iron clad. They say that in America. This is the moment of truth. So let's see if it will start. Uh, Depressed latch. I have depressed latch. Uh, so far, so good. Promising. It started. Oh my goodness. Ah, that's awesome. Oh my goodness. It started. You don't know what I was going through. My goodness. Ah, I thought Vauxhall, you are killing me. I thought the starter is dead. It was a battery, so, so far, so good. <laughs> oh, man, I bought the battery, I bought the battery from a uh, general traffic. It was 74 pound. So uh, I didn't call anyone to come to help. I just thought, let me just figure it out myself first. The good thing that you have to do is uh, when you have this kind of situation, start first with things that can be obvious. For instance, my battery was almost uh, five and a half years old, almost six years old. So even though it was showing the charge as 12 volts, I still had a feeling that it's 12 volts, but the amperage may, may be so low. So uh, this is why I had to go to buy the the battery that was the first thing that I thought it could be uh, and I thought it could also be a fuse but you know if the fuse has blown out when you try to start it it didn't sort of try to catch a little bit because the fuse wouldn't be you know activating anything so it will just go quiet the third thing that I thought was the starter I thought maybe the starter is gone so I saved myself a lot of work. Uh, the starter is all right. So, <laughs> man, when you are in business and things like this happen, you just don't know what to do. Oh my goodness, but thank you, my hands. I, I just want to thank my hands for giving me the opportunity to sort this myself. I'm really happy. Take care, guys. All the best. Bye bye.